I've been at rehab longer than planned. You all thought you'd finally got rid of me, didn't you, dear viewers? Well, didn't you? <sighs> Not even today's agonisingly unrealistic and illogical kids TV show episode I'm going to be forced to critique will get rid of me that easily. Speaking of... Uh, speak of the devil. It is a peaceful day in Toyland. Oh uh, really? I was convinced this was going to start. It was a vicious crime-filled day in Toyland. Dinah Doll is getting ready to open her shop. This one isn't straight. Tubby, careful! Now, how many of them are straight, you little nit? Master Tubby Bear! He's lucky it wasn't me whose tins he knocked down like a row of bowling pins. He'd be getting much, much more than a scowl and a fan talking to. Sorry, I'll put everything back. I'm afraid I haven't got time to show you now. I'll do it. Definitely has a good time! Just look at him! He can't even put his baseball cap on the right way! But I want to run a shop just like you! Not now, I'm in a hurry. Maybe someday. <gasps> someday. Just what my producers say to me when I request an episode of children's TV I can actually praise rather than critique. Watching a late 90s computer game cutscene right now? Vroom, vroom! Can I be the taxi driver today, Noddy? Can I? You snark into Noddy's car? Now I really feel like I'm watching a video game cutscene of. of. Grand Theft Auto Teddy Bear Edition! Tubby, you have to learn to drive first, and that takes time. I can't let you drive right now, but maybe someday. Right. You know the score! Uh, uh, FYI, I've diluted my vodka this time around. Hopefully that'll ease the side effects a little bit. But it all depends on the episode at the end of the day. That's what everybody says. I want to do what I want to do now. Not next month, not next week, not tomorrow. Not in one hour, not in a minute, not in five seconds, I want it now! Hmm, I know how you feel. Ride a bike! Dance or pass a leather stock you these days! Have a barbecue! There are oh so many things to do. Is it barbecue because it rhymes with do? As in, do you want Sarah to have to beat you up? Wash a dog, pet a kangaroo. Now I feel like I'm reading a bucket list of things to do before you turn 30. So does that mean I can drive? Only if you run his insurance plan. No, but you can ride with me to the train station. Move over. Oh, all right. Ha! Train beeper! PS1 gameplay! Here comes the train now! Oh wow! I want to be a train driver! And tell your land to put your own dumb ass hat on properly, Master Tubby! The only thing you're gonna do when you grow up is. A BALANCE BUNCH! PRESSNER! OR HOPE! Hi, Mr. Jumbo. Did you have a good trip? I should say so. And look what I got. Crates of peanuts. Oh, I think you've had way too many of them already. Thanks for the ride, Mr. Driver. You drive a very smooth train. Well, I don't want to get you for Christmas. Wow, you know the driver? Do you think he'd let me drive the train? Driving a train is a big job. I don't think they let just anyone do it. But if you study hard, maybe... Don't say it! Ah, good. I can go easy on the vodka. Maybe someday. 
<sighs> Beep. What's the matter with Master Tubby Bear? He's an asshat! Someday, someday. It'll only be a matter of time before we know. Did I die for nothing? Huh. It doesn't look like it would be that hard. Oh, yeah. <gasps> we gotta stop that train. Isn't a peaceful day now, is it? Narrator, that she's so embarrassed that we won't hear her for the rest of this episode. You gotta ask why they bothered hiring one in the first place for just five seconds of each episode. Yeah, I guess we're all desperate for money. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, the other character in this bleeping show who's eating way too many crates of peanuts. <laughs> Mr. Plod, Master Tubby Bear's driving the train, all by himself! What a clever bear he is! All by himself, you say? Yeah, well, yeah, well, all by himself! Follow that train! Delay appropriate reaction to terrible news cliche! Doesn't look like driving the Toyland Express is a very big job after all. This simpleton seems to be in control. I'd better slow down. I wonder how you do that. Uh oh, it's going faster! You don't suppose that the other lever standing directly next to it would help, do ya? when that happens. Don't worry, Mr. Wobbly Man. 
I got just the thing. Cue shameless plug. Shameless plug, get over here. This year, millions of people will have their hearing impaired and may suffer discomfort or even pain. The cause, earwax. There's an answer to problem earwax. Otex eardrops. Otex is clinically proven to reduce the need for syringing. Its unique dual action formula not only softens hardened earwax, but actually helps it fragment and disperse. Ask your pharmacist about Otex. For clearer ears, there's been no better news in years. This episode of Sorrel Tell Voice and Logic is sponsored by the one, the only, Lake Otex Eardrops! Woohoo! Not shameless, this is shameless advertising! I never agreed to this! <laughs> Shame this episode won't end with Master Tubby falling under the train. <laughs> <gasps> he knows exactly what's going on. Looks like it's time to reuse a piece of pre recorded material from one of my previous episodes. This episode called the Routine Reeks of Snaggers. <laughs> Does anything in this show obey the laws of established physics? This isn't fun anymore! Was it ever? Somebody stop this thing! I would if I could. Eh. The only remote control my producers were allowed to give me didn't have an off or a mute button. <laughs> Don't worry, she'll be dry again in another two minutes, and then she'll fall in again, and then she'll dry, and then she'll fall in again, and then she'll dry. The cycle goes on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> Quick! Out of the way before the train comes back! Couldn't have tried that sooner! Kindly step aside, Master Tubby Bear. This is the end of the line. Repeating myself now. Why is Tessie there? I don't recall her being affected by Master Tubby's shenanigans. If anything, poor old Martha should be there, preferably with an extra towel to hand just in case. Three cheers for blood! Ugh, why not, I guess. And so ends the case of the runaway train. Master Tubby Bear, look at all the trouble you've caused. No need to worry now, Noddy. He's had quite a shock. I'm sure he's learned his lesson. You're willing to put your money where your bleeping mouth is? 
I really have. Now I know there are some things I shouldn't do until I've learnt a lot more. Like being a train driver. That's right. Besides, I don't want to be a train driver anymore. I want to be a policeman. Halt in the name of Tommy Bear! Right. How much we say? Ten pounds? Thirty? Well, maybe someday. Right! <sighs> someday the effects of all my heavy drinking will catch up with me. Well, it's like some, but... Wait, looks like that someday is... Ugh! So much for dilution. I'm off to rehab. Again. Uh...